Greetings, watchers of the PG Verse. Uh, for today's video, I decided to ask Aries for some help with making the second video, so I'm just gonna get him. So hold on. What up, punks? I'm back. Um. So let's see. So I have a question for. The fans of Donald J. Trump. Uh, oh, also, uh, just so you know, uh, um, there's gonna be some cussing in this language, so if you're younger than 18, stop watching this video. Uh, now that that's out of the way, uh, so this bastard decided... I don't care about laws or more and my morals are shit. So I think you guys should attack the capital. Now yes, he didn't say that word for word, but I mean what he did say would, would suggest he'd be happy with an attack on the capital happening on January 6th. And then it happened and Unfortunately, the brave police officers that were guarding the Capitol, some of them were murdered that day. Some of them died of their wounds later. Now, fortunately, some terrorists died, like Ashley Babbitt. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember how she died. Oh, yeah, so uh, she was trying to break into one of the rooms in the Capitol. I think it was... Uh, during the Senate chambers, and she was warned to back away, but she was like, Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Cause I'm a proud American citizen. And I believe in democracy. So, um, cause she was warned and she didn't heed that, uh, she was shot by one of the either... I don't remember if it was one of the White House, one of the police around in, in D.C. or like one of the Secret Service, but one of those brave Secret Service or police officers shot and killed her, which saved the lives of all the very endangered senators and representatives that were in that room. And I'm like, good job. Good job, man. But also, um, so, something else I, I find annoying is, well, you might not know this, but, um, now, I know most of you see me as a violent war god, but I mean, I'm a war god. Of course I'm violent. However, unlike my sister Athena, I am a father and a family man. And so there was this time where one of my uncle Poseidon's sons, a ass named Hallet, Hal something, I don't remember, uh, was shocking one of, one of my daughters. Uh, so she prayed me for help when he almost grabbed her. So then uh, I beat him up and killed him. Now, to be fair, that beat him to death might have been a little too far, but I mean, with all the crimes my family has done, and only I got a trial. So I'm like, huh, yeah, sure, I might have carried it too far, but Zoo, my father Zeus has murdered people. My mother Hera has murdered people. My sister Athena has cursed people. My sister Artemis has cursed people. I... Generally, don't curse people unless I'm provoked by them. But also, so like, for those people that follow my fellow God, Jesus. Well, I mean, some of the immortals view him as a God. Others view him just as a prophet, like in Islam and Judaism. Some just see him as just a 
average Jewish guy. Um, but for those that are pro, that's, well, say they're pro-lifers, I'm wondering. So, okay, so you say you're pro-life. Does that mean you support child ed education? You support uh, lower... You support giving more opportunities for women to get jobs, as well as increasing the amount of time women can have off from work during their pregnancy, as well as, like, medicine for them, because, yeah, no. I personally don't know this as a guy who's never changed my gender, but, um... I've heard from my girlfriend Aphrodite, childbirth is very painful, and it's also from my female lovers that childbirth is very painful. I've always tried to be there, I, I can't always do that, because, I mean, I also have the wars and conflicts to go on, but it seems like it's very painful. So, are you pro-lifers also supporting that, as well as, like, uh, sex education, so young Teens and children don't end up getting pregnant. Because if you are pro-life, like you say, you should be supporting... Uh, I can't forget what it's called. Uh, sexual education. As well as like teaching about birth control. And not just saying... Just don't, and not just saying like some schools did for a lot of time. Just don't have sex. And then, the, and then, boom, you'll be good. And do you also support laws that punish rape and incest? Because you should, you truly are pro-life. But then again, um, how many of the pro-lifers go to abortion clinics and are like, shut this place down, save the fetus. Like, what about the woman? I mean, in Judaism, if the birth would kill the woman, the Jews realize that the woman is more important than the, you know, unborn fetus. That's, remember, still not a person yet. It's a living thing, yes. A person, no. And I'm like, good job, Jews. You recognize that in case like this, women are more important, which is also why abortion is legal in Judaism, unfortunately. Not sure about any of the other religions, but I, I digress. So that's important. So, and however, oddly enough, uh, you try to ban abortion clinics. And I'm like, really? So... If a woman gets raped or their uncle, father, brother, cousin, or just some random person sleeps in their family sleeps there and, and has sex with incest, shouldn't you be against that? Because, I mean, if you care about life, you should be also care about women that were forced to have sex with someone. You should be worried about their safety. So hopefully that means you also support them getting the help they need. But also, just because, sure, if one has sex, okay, well, hopefully it was her choice. If not, she should not be punished. You know who should be punished her? The guy who was with her. Who forced himself, sorry. I didn't say that enough. Uh, he'll force himself on her. He should be punished. And if she doesn't want to give birth, that is perfectly okay. She doesn't have to. And she shouldn't have to. And she shouldn't be forced. So what should happen is she should be able to get to an abortion clinic. If she wants to get an abortion, she should have it. And... If her current home isn't safe, she should be able to either stay at a shelter for young women, or hopefully she finds a good, she has a few good friends that are like, what? Of course you can stay with me for, for a few nights. I care about you because we're friends. Come right in. You know, I'll even help you bring your stuff to my place. 
You can stay as long as you need. Because I care about you. Because we're friends. But so many of you people that say you're pro-life go to abortion things and are like, shut this place down. Pro-life. And even worse, you criticize and ridicule women who choose, and not just women, minors like 16 and below who get abortions. And I mean, as a father, that infuriates me because if someone doesn't want to be a parent, either they're not ready, they straight up don't want to, or they don't have enough money, or like... I don't know. It's a, it's a dangerous part of the world. They shouldn't be forced to become a parent. But also, so you pro-lifers, I'm wondering, uh, how many of you will go to an orphanage and adopt a kid or two? Because if you're truly not a pro-life, you should be going to there and be like, hey, uh, I would like to adopt a kid. Hell, or even adopt a young adult because I care about life. So, now, some of you most likely do that. What about the ones who don't do that? Why do you not go to adopt those kids? Because those kids and teens and other young adults do need a family. Or, in, or they were, went there because their birth family was bad. They need a better family that actually cares and wants t them to be happy. So hopefully you should also go about that. Also, uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Also, uh, here's the thing. Um... America, what the hell is going on? How many of you people decided, yeah, children are important, but you know what I love? I love my guns. And yeah, there's a lot of mass shootings, but there could have been a good guy with a gun. And I'm like, okay, bro, ski. Then where is that good guy with a gun? Hmm. Well, if you say they're good guys with a gun, where are those good guys when school shootings happen? Like, one example is Uvalde. There was around 100 police officers with some high-quality body armor, riot shields, very nice guns, and so the school was, and they surrounded the school, which was a good first step. Uh, there was a gunman killing people. So, well, specifically school children. And what did the police do? Did they go in? Did they risk their lives to save their fellow Americans that they're supposed to protect? No. They just were like, well, uh, we surrounded the building. And... So, that made me wonder, okay, so how did the gunman die? And apparently what happened is there was a border control officer, like, that arrived. Uh, he saw the police weren't doing anything other than stopping parents from trying to save their children. Uh, and he was like, nope, this ain't happening. Uh... Wait, I don't have a gun on me. Uh, so then he drew, drove two or three miles to get someone to give him a gun. And then he came back and was like, well, I might be killed, but no, I'm taking that bastard down with me. So then he runs in, kills the guy. Even though that risks his life. And as far as I know, he, he did not have any body armor, much as a riot shield at all. So, he was a good guy with a gun, um, but most of the times it doesn't happen. Now, yes, there are police that do actually stop school shootings. At least I hope there are, but 
most of the time, uh, they, even if they're killed, they still manage to have killed their victims. So, NRA, um, just out of curiosity, do you have no compassion for your fellow Americans? Because it seems like you don't. Because you're like, anti-gun legislation, not on my wallet. Not on my no morals. Not on my ethics. Compassion for my fellow man. <laughs> Why would I waste my mind on that? Empathy. I'm only empathetic to me and my company. Well, I mean, not company, uh, whatever the NRA uh, right association is. I mean, all politicians are like, well, we should try to pa pass anti-gun registration laws. NRA. Hey, dude, I'm gonna bri I'm gonna bribe you. Uh, this uh. $200,000 check is the reason why you shouldn't pass these pro, well, anti-gun laws. Here you go. Because, well, well, I mean, politicians have always been corrupt. That's just a fact. But how come so many of you other politicians are just watching as that happens? And you don't even try to think... Well, okay, no, not all of you. The politicians are pro uh, NRA, anti humanity, because that's what they are. You're not pro, you are pro gun, but you know what? You also are anti human life. Because you, you know what's really funny? Countries like Australia ha learn this cool thing about gun registration and gun laws. They learned that if you ban and take away guns, it is very hard for people to get murdered. That's also why in Australia, I think, if, if I remember correctly, in the like 1980s or 70s, uh, if there are any Australians watching me, please tell me in the comments what time it actually was. There was, Australia did this gun buyback program, so they would buy the guns of, of Australians uh, for uh, s some pretty good money. And guess what happened after that? The number of mass shootings in Australia went like this. And in America, there were times when we uh, limited auto f f automatic and fully automatic rifles, as well as that weird device that makes a semi-automatic rifle fully automatic. And during that time that though that um, fully or semi-automatic weapons were banned, mass shootings also went pew! So clearly these laws do work. So... Yo, pro-lifers, I say you're pro-life. You know what? You should, if you're pro-life, help ban guns. Or at least limit access to guns. Because, like, seriously, anyone can go into a gun show or a gun store and be like, uh, hey, I'd like to buy a gun, uh, maybe two and, uh, like a hundred or more rounds of ammo. Can I do that? Of course you can't smoke. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, guns are that way. Ammo is that way. And then buy it that day and be like, uh, okay, there we go. Thank you. Well, have a nice day, random person. I won't even check if you should be having a gun or not. But have fun. And I'm like, bruh. But yeah, so... Now, I'm not sure how gun purchasing works in other nations, but I'm guessing what happens is when you try to buy a gun, first you have to be registered. 
You have to have a gun license. You also have to be certified. And probably also do these really cool laws of if you are on the criminal registry or no fly list, you can't buy a gun. Which, I mean, is a pretty se common sense laws, but somehow all of you anti-Americans and anti-human life in general are like, Common sense gun laws, I don't think so. Because I love my guns more than I love my own mother and father. And yeah, a bunch of Americans are dying, but I'm not dying because I have my guns. Which are what? Which are my God-given right. But also, so thing with uh, the Second Amendment, it says a well-regulated militia. Not that every Tom, Dick, or Stanley can have a gun. Just that if you have a gun, okay, uh, that means you will be part of our well-regulated militia. Now, I mean, in modern time, we don't really need militias because we have most generally fine, very nice police officers in city, state, and federal court, like with the FBI. And also, originally, what was our well-regulated militia became the National Guard. So, come on, guys. Also, people that are against common sense laws, against abortion clinics, you are awful people. Like, But also, here's another thing. So... In the Bible, both the Old Testament and the New Testament, it was emphasis on treating others how you want to be treated. And even in the New Testament, Jesus was all about brotherly love, all about treating others how you want to be treated, and as well as uh, forgiving people, but also earning redemption is important, but also that, like, you shouldn't murder. But he was also just a generally polite guy that would that would go to poor people and help them. He also feed and clothe and wash them. Uh, he was he would would fight against politicians if they needed to be resisted. Cause he was genuinely all about loving people. And doing what's right just because it is the right thing to do. Even if it gets him hurt. So, all y'all Bible thumpers that are pro-guns and anti-life. Or pro-fetus, but not pro, you know, mothers and pro-women. And Jesus would be ashamed of you. Now, yes, hopefully most of you Christians see Jesus and actually do what he preaches, like donating charity, helping people that just need help, like helping a random person down the street, across the road, and stuff like that, and you actually try to be helpful people, but, so, yeah, so you guys are fine. It's the other ones that are like, yeah, let's ban abortion clinics. Let's everyone get guns. You guys do not know Jesus and his word as much as you say you do. Well, uh, let's see. Man, this was a sad video, but yeah, it had to be sad. Also, um, Trump, you're a pathetic man. And a genuinely as evil a man as the Confederates, evil like Genghis Khan, Hitler, Mussolini, Stalin, Osama bin Laden. Kim Jong un. You all guys share so much evil and hatred. And arrogance to other people just because you can. You should be ashamed of yourself, but you, you will never think lowly of yourself, but yeah.
So to, uh, to end this video on a happy note, um, Americans that care about your fellow Americans, care about keeping democracy, please vote against Trump. Vote for any, if you are a Republican, but like an old school Republican, so you actually care about your fellow citizens, vote for a Republican, like ones that will only vote for Republican, at least vote for a Republican that doesn't lie, doesn't attempt a coup against the U.S., isn't pro-gun laws. Vote for someone that is compassionate about his fellow man, that wants to help them, that wants them to win, that loves democracy, has respect for law and justice. Vote for a Republican like that. And Democrats, vote for a Democrat that has those positive qualities. And those who don't know what you vote for, vote for the politician that you know cares about people in actions and what they just say. Because, remember, democracy is a fragile thing. You must fight for it. Well, hope you all have a lovely day, and I am heading back to Olympus. Later. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, hope you liked the video areas and I made. Uh, so, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Have a nice day.